Today, we will learn how to write equations in standard form ax plus by equals c. For this video tutorial to be effective, I will be using this format. First, I will flash each question for about 10 seconds, and you may pause the video whenever you want to give yourself time to try out each question. And finally, I will explain each question and I'll give you some tips and strategies on how to solve each question. Are you ready? Here we go. Linear equations can be written in different forms. The first one is called the slope-intercept form or the y is equal to mx plus b. In this equation, m refers to the slope and b is the y-intercept. The second is called the standard form ax plus by equals c. In this equation, the values for a, b, and c are integers and a must be positive integer. And third, the point-slope form, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. In this equation, m is the slope, and the x1, y1 is the coordinate of the given point. Question number one. Write the equation in standard form. The standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers. So this means that the first thing that we need to do is to isolate the x and the y on the left side. So our goal here is to have the variables x and y on the left side and the constant on the right side. So in this equation, the first thing that we need to do is to do the inverse of negative 5x. So we will add 5x to both sides of the equation. For the left side, y plus 5x can be written as 5x plus y. We need to rewrite it in such a way that x comes first before the y. For the right side, negative 5x and 5x is 0, and then we have negative 4. 
So this is the standard form of the linear equation because it's now in the form ax plus by is equal to c. So here the a value is positive 5, the b value is positive 1, and your c value is negative 4. So all the a, b, and c are integers and a is positive. Question number 2. y is equal to negative 1 fifth x plus 4. Since you're not allowed to have any fraction in standard form, the first thing that we need to do here is to multiply every term by 5. So now we need to multiply the left side by 5 and the right side by 5 as well. So for the left side, 5 times y is 5y. For the right side, we have negative 1 times 5, negative 5, divided by 5 is negative 1. So we have negative 1x or negative x. And 4, we also need to multiply by 5, that is now 20. So now there's no more fractions. The next step that we need to do is to isolate x and y on the left side of the equation. So we need to do the inverse operation now of minus x, which is plus x to both sides of the equation. 5y plus x is the same thing as x plus 5y is equal to negative 1x and positive 1x is 0 and is equal to 20. So this is the standard form because your a is positive 1, b is positive 5, and c is 20. Question number 3. y plus 1 is equal to 4 times x minus 1. First thing that we need to do here is distribute the 4 to the quantity x minus 1. So we will just copy the left side, y plus 1. For the right side, distributing the 4, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Now we need to isolate the x to the left, so we have minus 4x on both sides. Now we can write this, negative 4x plus y plus 1 is equal to negative 4, because 4x and negative 4x is 0. What's the next step? We can subtract 1 to both sides. Subtracting 1 to both sides, we now have negative 4x plus y is equal to negative 5. This is not in simplest form because a here is negative 4. So what we need to do here is to multiply everything by negative 1. So multiplying by negative 1, we now have positive 4x, negative 1y is equal to positive 5. So this is the simplest standard form. A is 4, B is negative 1, and C is 5. Again, your A value has to be positive. Question number 4. Y minus 1 is equal to negative 4 fifth times the quantity X plus 5. So the same thing, we can distribute first the negative 4 fifths to the parentheses. So we will copy Y minus 1 to the left side. Distributing negative 4 fifths, we now have negative 4 fifths x. Negative 4 fifths times 5 is negative 4. Because you have negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Divided by 5 is negative 4. Now I will multiply each term by 5 to get rid of that denominator. So 5 times y, we have 5y. 5 times negative 1, negative 5. 5 times negative 4 fifths, negative 4. So we have negative 4x. 5 times negative 4, we have minus 20. Now isolating the x on the left side, we can add 4x to both sides of the equation. So now we have 4x plus 5y minus 5 is equal to negative 20. And next, we need to add 5 to both sides. So the final answer is 4x plus 5y is equal to negative 15. Question number 5. 0 is equal to 6y minus 16x minus 30. Now I will show you a more efficient way of rewriting equations in standard form. From this given equation, I will rewrite it as 16x minus 6y is equal to negative 30. Can you explain what I did from the given to this new equation? It's the same thing as the inverse operation. So what I did is I transfer 6y to the left. If I transfer 6y, 
that turns now to negative 6y. Transferring negative 16x to the left, that turns now to positive 16x. Every time you transfer a term over the equal sign, you need to change the sign. In this equation, 16x minus 16y is equal to negative 30. All these numbers are divisible by 2. So we can divide each term by 2 to simplify the expression. So now we have 8x minus 3y is equal to negative 15. This is the simplest standard form of that equation. Question number 6. Negative 1 minus 6x is equal to negative y. Can you rewrite this equation using the more efficient way in the previous problem? This equation is the same thing as negative 6x plus y is equal to positive 1. From the given equation, I transferred negative 1 to the right, so that's why it turns to positive 1. I transferred negative y to the left, and that turns now to plus y, positive. Is that the final answer? Again, this is not the final answer yet because we are not allowed to have a is negative. To make this positive, we can multiply every term by negative 1. So multiplying everything by negative 1, this turns to positive 6x, negative y, and then we have negative 1. So the answer is 6x minus y is equal to negative 1. Question number 7. 5y is equal to negative 20 minus 8x. For this equation, I will just transfer negative 8x to the left. So this negative 8x turns to positive 8x. 5y remains positive and negative 20 remains negative. And that's the answer for number 7. Question number 8. Negative 6 minus 2y is equal to 3x. So for this problem, I will transfer negative 6x over to the right, and that turns now to positive 6. I will transfer 3x over to the left. What will happen? This becomes negative 3x. Copy minus 2y, and then we have equals 6. And don't forget, a cannot be negative. So what we need to do here? We multiply each term by negative 1. So this becomes now 3x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. So this is the standard form of this equation. Question 9. 2y minus 7x minus 10 is equal to 0. For this question number 9, we need to transfer the constant to the right side. So this becomes now 0 plus 10, which is just 10. For the left side, 2y minus 7x, I will rearrange them as negative 7x plus 2y. And also, we're not allowed to have a is negative, so in this case, we need to multiply everything again by negative 1. So the final answer is 7x minus 2y is equal to negative 10. Question number 10. Negative 9y plus 18 is equal to negative 3x. So for this equation, we need to transfer 18 to the left. That turns now to negative 18. Now I will transfer negative 3x over to the left. So we now have 3x, that turns positive, minus 9y is equal to negative 18. Now in this equation, 3x minus 9y is equal to negative 18. All these numbers are divisible by 3. So we can simplify this equation by dividing each of the term by 3. So the final answer now is x minus 3y is equal to negative 6. Here are the answers.